Well, it's looking like voters will no longer elect members of the state's Public Regulation Commission after this year. Constitutional Amendment 1 gives the governor the power to appoint members to the PRC rather than voters. So far tonight, a look at this, it looks like it is going to pass by 54% of the vote. Voters liking that idea to overhaul the beleaguered agency. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is live with a look at the amendment and three state bonds on the ballot today. Annalisa. Well, the PRC oversees public utilities, but it has a problematic history and a lack of public trust. This amendment shrinks the PRC from five elected members to a three member commission appointed by the governor who is given a list of nominees from a committee. We talked to people on both sides of the issue. The biggest loss is that we're going from electing five PRC commissioners to three appointed and what that will mean essentially is that two people will have the power to set our electricity and gas rates going forward. Always hard to convince voters to give up some of their direct control. In this, in this case, the majority agreed that it was worth it in order to ensure that we always have qualified people on this, in this important position. Voters are overwhelmingly supporting all three state bonds on the ballot. Voters are votes rather for each bond are at more than 60 percent. Bond A lets the state use more than 33 million dollars for senior facilities. Bond B offers up almost 10 million dollars for libraries across the state and Bond C gives more than 156 million dollars to colleges and universities across the state for construction projects. Back to you. Thank you. We will continue with our